to appreciate two wonderful women, mamas, who became our kind seller. He brought one, and I brought the other. In this video, Mama Evelyn Joshua shared with us the uh, mamas that, you know, were their counselors, you know, during her marriage with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Elderly women became my friend. <clears throat> Mama Victoria Akiola, where are you, Mommy? I'm over, Mom. Mami Victoria Akiala was one of the women who uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, you know, and um, Mama Evelyn Joshua, you know, will run to if there is any, you know, issues among them. So in this video, Mama Evelyn Joshua appreciated this woman, Victoria Akiola. And this particular, you know, um, kind of um, celebration um, happened on the 5th of uh, June 2022, the day uh, that Prophet T.B. Joshua's um, memorial, first year memorial service um, took place. You know, because Mama Evelyn Joshua also used that um, opportunity during the occasion to appreciate these wonderful women. Unfortunately, one of them you know, had passed away. I'm not too sure exactly when that woman died. Even though uh, she wasn't present, uh, Mama Evelyn Joshua you know, talked about how she was also involved, you know, during their, you know, marriage. Her name was Mrs. Felicia Olonye Ayeku. May her so rest in peace. Amen. I remembered one Sunday. Just like today. Then this structure was not here. And the prophet's office was just down there. I went to the office and said to him, you are not going to attend to anyone today than me. You are not going to attend to anybody today than me. So we began to dialogue. Went to dialogue, and after, after a while, he left the office and came back with Mama Kiola. So when she came into the office, she said to me, follow me. And I followed her. So Mama, I want to say thank you today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your wisdom and thank you for your motherly advice that kept me from the path of error. God bless you. This uh, particular story signifies that the type of people we mingle with, we associate ourselves uh, with, that, you know, get involved in our lives, can make us move forward. They can also make us move backwards. It's good this kind of story, you know, I mean, testimony was shared so that people could learn from it. But my Evelyn Joshua didn't just share it just for you to hear it. She shared it so that people can learn 
that the type of people you keep around you can make your relationship go forward. They can also make your relationships, you know, break down. If you're having a friend, close friend, be careful the type of person you get involved with. Because some people will not give you the best of the best advice. Some people will try to deceive you by not telling you the honest, you know, truth. I was really glad the way Mama Evelyn Joshua also appreciated even the one that was not alive. You know, anything that we do in this life, don't think that once you die, you will be forgotten. You will still be remembered. Therefore, don't give people bad advice. If you do not have any advice, any reasonable, any good advice to give to your fellow human beings, the best thing is for you to keep quiet. Do not try and give people advice that will mislead them. Don't give people advice that, you know, at the end of the day, it, it, it's going to be so, you know, destructive. Give people that kind of advice that you will give to yourself. I mean, the best of the best advice. My people, God continue to bless you. I know you guys are sick of hearing my voice, isn't it? But sometimes I try to give you guys a little bit of break and also to give myself also a break because uh, recently I was really, really down. Um, I was really, really tired, coupled with work. So at the end of the day, I said, no, I'm going to be having a few days off, you know, and then in a week, I mean, in a week. And then, you know, also to give you guys break because <laughs> this thing is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Because by the time I finish making the videos and then I start editing it, you know, sometimes it wears me down, you know. So um, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you also for subscribing because recently I've been getting, you know, loads of um, subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate. If there is any way I could help all of you, I will. With the little that I have, I will help each and every one of you. God bless you all. And hence, I can't help everyone. God will, you know, get people in your life that will help you. God will bring people that will help you and also you to help others. You know, most times it's not material things that some people need. There are also people that need psychological support. There are also people that need our, you know, material support. I don't, I don't know if there's any word like that. Material support. Yeah, material support like food, clothing, you know, you know, um, you know, all the material things you can think of anyway. There are also people that need money. People need money. Also, people need advice. So in any way you can, in your own little way to support anybody, try and help. God bless you all. Okay. So this particular video that we all just watched was, you know, on that day of the memorial service of Prophet TB Joshua. You know, Mama Evelyn Joshua just said it the way, you know, it is. She didn't hide anything. She didn't, you know, sugarcoat anything because some people might be saying, well, why did she come up uh, that very day talking about this when she had, you know, a little bit of, you know, uh, misunderstanding with Prophet TB Joshua and then she was saying it. She just said it the way it was. Okay, this woman is not somebody that, you know, she, she just told you how it happened. Okay, it's not like they were 
quarreling or something like that. Husband and wife, you know, they have misunderstanding. And I guess that was what happened. She wanted attention, all right? And she said, prophet wanted to go and preach. She said, no, you're not going anywhere today. It's going to be me and you. You know, so that me and you, maybe she wanted to be, you know, for someone to cuddle her or, you know, she wanted, you know, to chat with her husband or, uh, uh, you know, there's so many things that maybe she needed from her husband, but she wanted him to be there, but he wanted to go and preach. So don't misquote what uh, Mama Evelyn Joshua meant, okay? So, and it's not like they had uh, a big fight or something like that, no. It just a little bit of a uh, misunderstanding. So on that particular day, you know, Mama Evelyn Joshua, you know, dressed, you know, with <laughs> coats of different colors. You know, uh, she she said something about her dress. What made her to wear? It. I can't really, um, I can't really, you know, recollect exactly what she said about her dress. But I think it signifies, you know, different countries. Um, her husband had visited. You know, uh, different countries. I think so. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but if you know what her dress, you know, signifies, you know, let me know in the comment section and God will bless you, my dear. These were some of the uh, memories that Mama Evelyn Joshua had, you know, about Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua as a husband. Therefore, nobody should judge him you know, because of, you know, she narrated it to you guys. Nobody should judge her. Just because she said that her husband called somebody in doesn't mean that Mama Evelyn Joshua should be flogged by you guys for saying that. Mama Evelyn Joshua just sharing the memories of Prophet T.B. Joshua with us. She just sharing what, you know, she experienced. It wasn't something bad. She was just saying it just as a family because uh, Mama Evelyn Joshua took, you know, uh, Synagogue Church of All Nations as her family. So the way you, you would have shared certain things with your family, that's what Mama Evelyn Joshua did on that Memorial Day of Prophet T.B. Joshua. So do not condemn Mama Evelyn Joshua. Did you hear me now? Okay.